Understanding Light-Bodied Wine, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase often used in the world of wine tasting. Light-bodied wine. This phrase may seem complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down together so you can understand and use it confidently in your conversations. The term, light-bodied, refers to the weight and feel of the wine in your mouth. Just like how we describe milk as skim, 2%, or whole, based on its richness and thickness, wines are described based on how heavy or light they feel. Light-bodied wines are typically easier on the palate, less rich, and more refreshing compared to medium-bodied or full-bodied wines. They are often lower in alcohol content and have a delicate flavor. Light-bodied wines are known for their subtle flavors and aromas. They are not overwhelming, making them a great choice for beginners or those who prefer a gentler taste. These wines are ideal for warm weather and are often served chilled. Common examples include Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blanc, and Beaujolais. An important aspect of enjoying wine is pairing it with food. Light-bodied wines pair wonderfully with lighter dishes like salads, fish, and chicken. The key is to match the wine's lightness with foods that are not too heavy or overpowering. This ensures that the wine and food complement each other, enhancing the dining experience. When you're shopping for wine or choosing one at a restaurant, you can identify light-bodied wines by looking for terms like crisp, fresh, and fruity on the label or menu. These descriptors are commonly used for light-bodied wines. Additionally, the color can be a hint. White wines that are very pale or transparent are often light-bodied. We hope this video has shed light on the delightful world of light-bodied wines. Remember, wine tasting is about personal preference, so feel free to explore and find what tastes best to you. Cheers to your English learning journey, and we hope you enjoyed today's lesson. See you in the next video.